Okay, hello. Uh, I may or may not have lost footage of playing the game. But it's fine, I didn't make any real progress anyways. I've only been playing Plus, uh, which as you can see, I have played uh, 5... Uh, I perfected 10 5x5 five five puzzles, uh, which has unlocked me the gallery. Essentially, this gallery is where you can specifically uh, choose specific combos that you want. Oh, I think my game's lagging. Hmm. Anyways, we shall continue. We can probably unlock the galleries by perfecting 10 levels. Yeah, I haven't actually played any of this. I haven't actually finished a plus 8 puzzle, I don't think. Yeah, that was this one, huh? That one's really tricky. Alright, so I guess you're gonna just have to watch me play uh, 6x6 puzzles now. Liar and Balance. Alright, so I guess you can begin with Liar. What colour should I use to mark these? Can I use blue? We know this is a 2. Uh, 12 with 6 means there has to be 2 mines in here. Alright, I know that this means 3 then, because if it was a 5, that would mean 3 mines in these 3, which would break the B column. Uh, let's see... This 3 is very interesting. Ah, alright, this 3 is interesting. Let's take a look at like some theory here. How many total mines does column A and B have? Since we know each column has 2 mines, this has a total of 4. This box has a total of 3 mines in it, so all remaining cells must contain 1 mine in total. So these 6 cells contain 1 mine in total. But this, as we know, is a 2. I don't know how I can write it in a way that's easy to see. Do I write it in the corner like this? Is that easier? I don't know. But essentially, that means the mine has to be in here to be able to finish the 2. And those are actually all 4 of the mines. We can therefore show that these three are empty, and this is a mine. Okay, uh, similar to the 4 logic, we know that this 3 here cannot be a 4, because these 3 uh, cells will all be filled, so this 3 has to be a 2. This 3 also, well it could be a 4, it could. Uh, okay, with balanced, we know that these are both mines. There are two mines in here. Wait. No, no, there is one mine here, and one mine here. Right, okay. Actually, this three, we know that there are two mines in here. And this... No, we don't know there's two mines in here. Hmm. That's really challenging. This three is a two, right? Okay. What happens if... Alright, okay, um, a little bit more of a complex one here, but this 3 cannot be a 2 either. If this 3 was a 2, or well, could it be a 2? It could, right? It could be a 2. It could be a 4. Well, let's think about it. If it was a 4, then because these cannot contain all mines... In fact, these... Oh, it can't be a 4, right? Because this can only contain a maximum of one mine. And therefore, um, you cannot put enough mines in to finish up 4. So this isn't a 4 and this is a 2. Ah, so it is a 2. Okay. Uh, actually, we can put mines here and here. That I think was way easier. This isn't a mine. This 2 is complete. It's a 3. Ah, uh, yeah, alright. What else is there? There's one mine here. I guess we know that... Mm, there can only be one mine here. No, does there have to be one mine here? There can be no mines. Um, no, I don't think it can be no mines. Because if this was a mine, and these were no mines, then the 3 would have to have a mine here to complete the 2, and that breaks the balanced rules. So that means that it can't be that both of these are empty, and therefore must have a mine in it, and that will complete column C. So this isn't a mine either. And we know since these two have a mine in it, then this cannot be a mine. Uh, this has to be a mine to complete the column B and this 4 clue. Uh, Alright, so how do I want to erase all of this? I'll just erase everything. You know there's one mine here. I guess... Well, we... Oh, right. 
this four can't be a five because it was a five. All five of these will be marked, and that breaks column D. Therefore, it must be a three. We know this section here contains two mines because of the balance rules, uh, and that will make three mines in total. So this cannot be a mine. This is therefore a mine. This four must be a three because it can't be a five. Uh, therefore, there is only one mine here. Therefore, this must contain the other mine. All right. So column f uh, row four is complete. 3. 3 cannot be a 4, because if it was a 4, all 4 of these mines would be filled, and column E would be wrong. So it has to be a 2. I don't know if you can see that as a 2. Uh, I have also been playing music in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. It looks like it's pretty soft. I don't know if I want to increase the volume a bit. Does that work? Is that a bit loud? I think it's a decent amount of loud. Hold on. Just a bit more. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, never mind, it is extremely loud. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just fiddling with all the controls here. Uh, um, movie issues. I think you can hear my mouse clicking also, that's a bit worrying. Ah, but it's fine. Alright, anyways, we know that- ah, okay, well... We know that there's one mine here to complete the uh, row 5. We therefore know that there's one mine here to complete this 3 clue. And this one mine would also complete row 3. So this isn't a mine, and this is a mine. Uh, this 2 over here must be a 3 because it can't be a 1. And that means there is one mine here. This one mine would complete column E, means the rest of the cells are non-mines. This is therefore a mine. Uh, this 3 must be a 2, it can't be a 3, or a 4. So this isn't a mine, this is a mine, and this isn't a mine. Okay, well row 2 is complete, and the last mine has to be here. Alright, Liar and Balanced. Pretty cool combo. As long as it's not one of the really disgusting looking- Ah, oh, negation, dang, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to see what it does then. 2 is very interesting in this position because it's either um, only dark cells are colored, or only light cells are colored. Now what that means is... Oh, that actually completes the... That actually completes this, because if both dark cells were complete, if both dark cells are filled, then these would have a... Then taking a look at this section, that would have a net of 1. And this would also have a net of 1. And if it was the other way around, then the same thing occurs where both this is a net of 1, and this is a net of 1. So to maintain the net of 1, firstly, if I can use yellow here, I think yellow is pretty uh, bad for colouring. You can't really see yellow on white, it's very bright. Uh, so we use orange for a net 0. So this must be a net 0, and this itself must be a net 0, so this is not a mine. Next up, this 0 with a net 0 here means this must also be a 0. Alright, ooh, three zeros in a row, wow. We know this is a 0, so this isn't a mine either. Uh, real questionable, um, but alright. The quad rules imply that this must be a mine, and to make this a 0, this must also be a mine. Okay, this 2 is interesting. The only way to make this a 2 is if these were both mines and this isn't. Now we know this 2 is 2 light squares, and therefore we can do that. Uh, for this one to be complete, it must be that this is a mine and this isn't. Two, alright. Two with a net zero so far must mean that this three cells must form a net two. The only way to do that is if... Huh. Is it wrong? That's interesting. Let's go back to where we were. This n Oh, it sees this mine. Am I... I think I was blind. Alright. This 2 over here is a positive 2 right now. Uh, if you don't understand, basically, the strategy here is to take dark cells as a negative 1 value and uh, light cells as a positive 1 value. So right now, all the things surrounding 2 give a positive 2. So we need to maintain a 0 here or a negative 4 to make this a 2. right? Because this 2 over here would give the uh, absolute value of the mines around it. So these cells could either be a 0, so the total will be a positive 2, or it could be a negative 4, so the total will be a negative 2. But obviously you can't make a negative 4 here. 
So this will have to be a 0. I think we can mark that. This 2 also sees a positive 1. So to make it a 2, it would need to be a positive 1 or a negative 3, but it can't be a negative 3. So it is a positive 1. Uh, right, this 0 sees this, so I think the only way to complete it is if this was a mine and this wasn't. This 0 is also complete. This 0 sees 2 dark and 2 light. That is 0, so this isn't a mine. Okay, now to make this a positive 1, this would have to be a mine and this wouldn't. Uh, to make this a 0, this would have to be a mine. This 0 means that... Well, it already sees a net of 0. So this would also have to be a 0. This 1 sees a negative 1. So it would have to be a 0 to maintain. Or it would need to be a negative 2 to make it a negative 1 total. Yeah, alright. This 1 over here sees a net value of 0 so far. So this must see a 1. It would see a positive 1 or a negative 1. Both would work. But this negative 1 or positive 1 feel, fill, fills this. Right? If it was a negative 1, this would be a 1. This would be a negative 1. Uh, but if it was a positive 1, then this would also be a 1. So what this means is that I think this must be a 0 or it must be a positive 2 in the case if this was a negative 1. Hmm. I don't see much. Is it some quad rules? Yes, well, the only way for this to be 0, firstly, is if, you know, because of quad rules, there has to be a mine in these two cells. And if there was a mine in one of these two cells, then there has to be a mine in another opposite colored cell. So if this white... Uh, so I think either way, the white has to be filled. Right? Because it's either a dark cell and a white cell, or a white cell and this dark cell specifically. So it's always the white cell that will be filled. Okay, uh, next I think we can look at this set over here. Now if it was a positive 1, I think that would work. Okay, well this 1 sees a 0. It sees a net 0 so far. So it must see a 1 here and I don't know what color to use like for a random value of pause, plus 1, minus 1. But it sees a 1 here and therefore this must be a 0. Okay. Um, this 2 sees a 0 so far, so it must see a 2 here. Uh, that would have to be a positive 2. Right. Hmm. Not exactly sure. Do I use quad rules? Well, we do know there has to be at least one mine here. But we don't know if it's one mine or two mines. I'm trying to scroll through the colors to see. But it has to be at least one mine here. So this is a plus one or a plus two. It can be a plus two because this could be a... Mm, but it can't be a plus two, can it? Because if it was a plus two, then these are both mines. To make this a plus one, then this would have to be a mine. But that breaks this because we know these two cells have to add up to one, which it doesn't right now. So it can't be a plus two and therefore has to be a plus one. This therefore has to be a net of 0. Alright. And if this was a plus 1, then this would have to be a plus 1 as well to make it a 2. So this is a mine and this isn't. Cool. This is a 1, so this isn't a mine and this is. For this to be a 1, this can't be a mine. This is a 0, so this is not a mine either. This 1 sees a plus 2 so far, so it needs a negative 1. This 0 needs this to be a mine to make it a, a net 0. And remaining zero mines, so we can do that. Okay, uh, that's pretty interesting. I like that variant a little bit more than regular negation. But I'm just really, really surprised at this chain of zeros here. You might think that this gives you a lot of information, but it really doesn't because of how negation works. Now that's really cool. All right. In fact, I think the maximum value that a negation can have is four. Which is, yeah, it's basically half of regular Minesweeper. Mm. Alright, next. Oof, connected and crossed. Wow, what a... Alright, I think I see how this begins. We can begin with normal, uh, normal connected here. Uh, normal cross here. This 1 and this 5 share this cell and this cell. Which can have a maximum of 1 mine in it. Therefore... 
for the 5, the rest of them have to be mines, and for the 1, the rest of them cannot be mines. Alright, starting strong. Uh, I think because of how cross works, like, uh, instead of being a ring around the number, it's an X. Maybe I should be explaining the rules before I play. Um, essentially, as you can see here, each like mine, each shaded square is essentially the 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 clues that it gives. Five means that there's five mines in the shaded cells. So that's how cross works. Uh, connected means that all mines have to be connected in some form of pattern. So you cannot have a mine here and no mines here or here because this uh, mine will be isolated. But these mines can work. So they can be connected diagonally, that counts, that works. Anyways, let's continue. This 3 is interesting, but I don't think it's very interesting just yet. Uh, let's see. This 3 sees 4 more cells. Do I need to use connected already? Let's think about this. Alright, we know that there are 2 mines in here. Out of these three, there are two mines out of these three. Now, how is that helpful? There has to be a mine here. Right, because if there was no mine here, then there will have to be a mine here and here. And then this mine is isolated, which is bad. So there has to be a mine here, and therefore no mine here. Alright, we finished the one and the three. Very convenient. Uh, we don't know where the other mine is for the three, though. The two is interesting because well it's not anymore right yeah all right this three hmm let's think about this this three c is a very important cell can this be a non-mine well if it was then there cannot be any mines here I think that still works though, because this 3 has a third cell here that you can see. This 2 could have a mine here and here. And it all still looks pretty connected, and this isn't a mine, so this does work, right? Huh. Alright, that's crazy. Crazy that it does work. Ah, uh, fascinating. Let's think about this. Maybe I should just be the only one thinking about this. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of other leads other than we know that one of these has to be a mine so that this can like come out here. Mm, but other than that, I don't see anything helpful. You know, one of these are mines, I guess. Alright, um, thinking about this, if this wasn't a mine, then this two must have a mine in here, meaning that this also has to have a mine. Right, and the three will be complete, meaning there has to be a mine here and a mine here. Yes, okay. Uh, does that say anything? Because it's all it's it doesn't it doesn't say much, does it? Yeah, alright, no, no, we know that this can't be a mine, because if it was a mine, the theory would be complete, which isolates it, so this can't be a mine, okay. That was, that was probably way easier to see. This 1 and this 2 share something, because this 2, uh, they share this 2 cells, and there can be a maximum of 1 in this, based on this 2, and there has to be at least 1 here. No, there's a maximum of 1 here based on this 1, and this 2 says there has a minimum of 1 here. So there is exactly 1, which means that this is a mine, and the rest of these are non mines. This 3 can be completed. This 1 can also be completed. So this is the mine. This 3 is complete. This 3 is also complete. This 4 can be completed like that. Alright, this has to be a mine firstly. Uh, firstly to, all right. This has to be a mine to connect out the this one. And this 3 will then be complete. This 4 I think can also be completed. It could have, complete, it could have been completed a long time ago. Uh, but yes, alright, anyways. Well, the 5 has 1 remaining here, and there's 1 mine remaining, so the rest are non-mines. This 3 can be completed, and then this 5 is done. Oh, okay. C and X. C and X, nice. There wasn't really much to say about it. 
Uh, T and P. Wow, triplet and partition. Triplet means that mines may not form a row of three in a row. Sorry, what weird phrasing. Triplet means that mines cannot form a row of three uh, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. So it just can't form three in a row. And partition means that the clue doesn't actually indicate the number of mines. It indicates the number of uh, different walls you can make. So how many different chains exist around the three. Uh, again, the maximum number for um, this kind of puzzle is four. I, I've i learned that um, <laughs> this isn't really a very nice... How do I say this? isn't a really very nice variant either. It's pretty challenging. Uh, let's see. Triplet is cool though. I, I want to say triplet is pretty cool. Hmm. Now, it's very interesting because this can have a maximum partition of one. Could have, uh, yes. Alright, this three means that there has to be one wall here and it can't be zero because then you have no way to fit three walls into four cells. So, uh, this can't be, you know, this can't be greater than one wall either because you can't fit more than one wall into two cells. So this has exactly one wall in it. This therefore has two walls in it, but this one means that there has to be a maximum of one wall in here. What that means is that this must have the other wall in it. Right, yes. So, um, the trick with partition that I found was that if you have these uh, consecutive or adjacent little blocks here, then these cannot both be mines. And the reason for that is it would kind of connect both of them. Uh, and that's bad. It would connect both of them. Yes. Okay, but uh, I do want to point out that the mine actually, the wall here can actually continue around, you know, kind of breaking, kind of filling up the entire thing here. Because one can have an entire wall around it. That's basically it. The two here is interesting. But I don't see. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Right. Because we know that there has to be at least one mine here. Because we know that, you know, there is a wall here. I don't know how to draw this very well, how to explain the logic here. But the thing is that if there was a mine here, it would have to link up to at least this cell. And the problem with that is to link up to this cell, it would make three in a row. So this can't be a mine. And secondly, this also cannot be a mine because it would link up to here and form three in a row. So this can't be a mine either. Uh, this two can actually be completed. So these are both mines. This one has to be linked to here to, you know, connect to this singular uh, block. I want to draw this more nicely if I can, but I don't think my rectangle drawing skills are very good. Anyway, this one is complete, so none of these are mines. This one is also complete. This two is kind of complete, so there is one wall here. But that doesn't mean that these are both empty, because uh, it's a wall, not number of mines. Um, now this can't be a mine, as we've proven that uh, two consecutive, two adjacent blocks cannot have mines connecting them, so this isn't a mine. This has to be a mine, therefore. Uh, three in a row means this isn't a mine. All right, now this two means that one. Of, this has to be a mine to form the second wall. Uh, you can't make two walls with this, so this has to be a wall. All right. Uh, three in a row means this isn't a mine. Ooh, three. Fancy. Alright, now this can't be a mine. We know that because if it was a mine, it would have to link up to here, making three in a row. Oh, I see. Triple and partition do really kind of synergize well with each other. Uh, kind of with the fact that, like, if mines are too far apart, they would have to link to each other, which could very easily form triplet. So this can't be a mine. Two. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, we don't know if this is a mine or not. However, hmm. well, yes, partition means that this can't be a mine, this can't be a mine because they have to link up to this one, forming three in a row. So these can't be mines. Two implies that this has to be a mine. Yes, because, you know, there can only be one wall here, so this has to be a mine. Now, three actually is very helpful. There is already one wall here. These two cells can only form one wall maximum. So this must also form a wall. 
uh, now two over here is very interesting because it already has one wall here so it must have exactly one wall here as well this can't be a mine because if it had if it was it would have to link up to here making a three in a row so this isn't a mine now this must be to finish up the third wall uh, this two sees one mine here so one wall here it must have only one single wall in the remaining cells again this can't be a mine if it was it would have to link up to here forming three in a row this actually can be a uh, it actually can be a mine because if it linked up there would be no three in a row and it has to be to finish this too so these are both mines now this has to have a mine to link up this can't be a mine because three in a row and one means this isn't a mine so now both of these have to be mined by the remaining mine count nice okay cool cool tp is actually a pretty reasonable uh combination of variants i like it i like it uh, we had a rough start with how each combo is made. Okay, uh, moving on. Oh, ho, ho. yikes. This one's really questionable. Uh, outside, as you can see from here, all mines have to be orthogonally connected. All non mines have to be orthogonally connected. So, as you can see, uh, like this over here. These two normal mines are not connected to the rest, uh, as well as all regular mines have to be connected to the outside. As you can see, this isn't connected, this isn't connected. So diagonally, it doesn't count. Eyesight means that each clue doesn't say the number of mines around it. It says how many empty cells it sees until its vision is blocked by the level border or until it sees a mine. So as you can see, this 6 here sees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, including itself. It sees... Uh, six empty cells. I'm gonna refer to uh, empty here as non mines because it's way easier to say. Anyway, first this seven, it sees six over here. So this has to be a non mine. Eight, ooh. Eight sees six here, so this also has to be a non mine to see a minimum of eight. Nine, <laughs> we're continuing the pattern, it sees six here, so it must see at least three more. So this has to be empty. Uh, and then if it was a 10, that would have been really funny. But very, very interesting. This 6 already sees 4 mines. Now. Alright, Um. so a funky pattern with outside is that, as uh, I may have explained in a previous video, uh, such a such a pattern is definitely not possible. Uh, if you want to think about the logic, it's basically that uh, this mine is connected to the outside, this mine is like connected to the outside, and they would isolate these two cells from each other. That's basically the logic behind it. Uh, but I guess we can use that with eyesight. The thing about eyesight is that a lot of the times when you have a clue uh, and it sees you know some number of mines around it, like uh, I don't know this for example. No, no. Like you know if this was a question mark which kind of saw this something like this then you would know that this has to be a mine and this has to be a mine and then this would have to be a mine to resolve the outside pattern here so I guess in some way the clues do work with each other decently well anyway I am talking quite a lot here this 7 sees 4 so it must see a maximum of 3 more a maximum? Yes, a maximum of three more. Alright. Interesting, but I don't think that helps just yet. This three is cool, I guess, but... Hmm. Alright, so let's think, let's think. If this was a mine, then this would have to be a non-mine to uh, make the three kind of work. It would like this even if this was a non mine this would still have to see this at least uh, I don't know about that I don't know about that one I guess if this was a mine then this would also have to be seen at least hmm uh, oh actually we can use these in the horizontal direction as well because we're looking at vertical direction right but we can also use this in a horizontal direction I think like this 9 over here, it sees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it sees 6. So it must see another 3 here, I think meaning that this cannot be a mine. Ooh, alright. 
9 sees 6 here, so similarly, it must see at least 3 mines in a horizontal direction, so this can't be a mine. Uh, yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four. yeah, exactly, alright. This 6 sees 5 now, which is pretty interesting. Hmm... So maximum, oh, ooh, I think that gives us some progress here. This 6 sees a maximum of 5 in this row. Now this 9 also sees a maximum of 5 in this row, therefore it must see 4 others in this column. And to do that, I think these would have to be non-mines. Okay, very helpful. This 8 sees maximum of 5 here, so it must see 3 more, so this is also non-mine. Cool. This 5 sees a 4 so far. Hmm... Ah, wait, no, this 9, ah, right, 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 okay. This 9 over here sees 5 maximum, so it must see a minimum of 5 cells in this vertical direction, because it includes itself. It sees 4 more, and with itself makes 5, which this 5 just so happens to see. So I think that means that this 5 sees 5 vertically, and none horizontally. Now we can confirm that it sees 5 vertically, so this 9 sees 5 vertically, this 9 must therefore see 4 more horizontally, which makes 5. And to see 5 horizontally, this must be empty and this must be a mine. Ooh, and as this uh, 3 has been... Yeah, how this 3 works means that these are both non-mines. Alright, this 2 sees 2 already, so this is a mine. And we see the first outside pattern here, this must be a mine to block it. Uh, we can do more, this 6 already sees 6, so this isn't a mine. Uh, this 9... Hmm. This 9 sees 5 here, so it must see 4 more in this direction, so this isn't a mine. 8, ooh. This 8 sees 5 here, so it must see 3 more, meaning none of these are mines either. 5. This 5 sees 5, so this is a mine. This 5 sees 4. Oh, actually, hmm. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Can I do anything with this? This 7 sees 5, it must see 2 more, and therefore this cannot be a mine. Okay, good, good. Uh, therefore, it's either that this is a mine, and this is not a mine. Well, no, this mine has to exit out. This has to be a mine, for it to connect to the outside. A very simple outside rule here that I completely missed. Alright, this has to be a mine, okay. Uh, I don't think this 7 is going to give us anything else. This 5 sees 4, so we're going to see 1 maximum. Uh, oh, very good, very good uh, observation here. It sees one maximum. If it sees this mine, this is a mine. But because of this, it forms an outside pattern making it so that this is a mine. Uh, as well as, if it sees this, then naturally this is also a mine by regular, uh, regular eyesight rules. So in all cases, this is a mine. Very interesting, very cool. This 8 sees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cells so far, so it can only see a maximum of... Two. That's not very helpful, actually. No, 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 it is helpful, because we know this 9 sees 5 here, so it sees 4 more here, making a total of 5. This 8 sees 5 here, and therefore must see 3 more here, making a total of 4. So it must see 4, which can, which can only be done by this. Alright, this 4 sees itself, it sees 4 already, so this has to be a mine. And here we can see another outside pattern, so this is not oh my god it was a mine damn i misclicked uh yikes i misclicked right i meant to say that it was actually a mine to prevent the the outside pattern but uh i accidentally clicked it as not a mine which is very unfortunate anyways uh we can kind of do some tricks here these are non-mines it's five sees something like this and then this is that and then this. Uh, oh, right, because it wasn't a mine. I am not making any progress here. Very nice. Uh, let me think. I, I gotta think here. I gotta make some big brain plays. Because my brain's not working. Alright, anyways. This 3 is done. This 2 can be done. This has to be a mine. Uh, this has to be a mine, because we know this isn't, this has to be a mine. 
I think this is where we were so far. This is also a mine. Uh, we know this isn't a mine, right? And we know that this 8 sees 5 here, so it must see 3 more. So this isn't a mine, this is. This 4 sees 4, this is a mine. This is also a mine because of outside rules. Cool. Uh, now we have 2 mines remaining. Okay. Ooh, alright. We know there has to be 1 mine here because 5 can only see 5. There has to be 1 mine here because, like, you know, this 7 already sees 6. So, so there has to be 1 empty and 1 mine. Therefore, none of these are mines. Good, okay. This 5 means that this uh, has to be a mine, so this isn't. This 9 can be completed, and this isn't a mine. Alright. That was pretty rough. It was pretty rough, but the two variants do seem to synergize with each other pretty well for like how uh, challenging each of them are on their own. Yes, so I would say this is a pretty good combination. Anyway, next. Multiple and dual. Oh my gosh. Multiple is fine. It's sort of fine. It's pretty challenging when you just start. Uh, when you just start. But I think you get used to it after a while. Dual, on the other hand. Uh, I have received comments saying dual is... Uh, dual is one of the variants where you have to look at all the possible combinations and figure out what's constant and which is never a mine and such. But there are also some patterns that constantly occur which I haven't yet figured out but apparently there are. I might have to look into it at some point. But uh, yes, alright. Uh, essentially dual as you can see here, all mines must form uh, blocks of two. They can form like these little elbow pieces of the single mine. They cannot touch each other. And multiple means that each colored cell is worth two mines instead of one. So this six here is actually made of two. Uh, is it made of three two worth mines, or two pros as I like to call them. Uh, the final mine count, which is ten, is not uh, affected by this rule. So you can still have 10 randomly displaced mines. And I think what makes this interesting, dual and multiple, is that every block is worth 3 instead of, you know, 2 mines in it. So we start with this 2. It is either a mine here and here, or it is a, a mine in one of the dark squares. Now if it was a mine in one of the dark squares, where could it be? It can't be here, because this cannot be a mine to finish off the 2, and this would be uh, broken from the dual rule, so this cannot be a mine. Alright, 2 is very interesting, it can only be done like this. This 2 is also complete, this has to be a mine to finish off the dual. And since you cannot have any mines attached to it, these are all empty. This 1 is complete, wow, okay. This 0 is complete, alright. This 2 means that this cannot be a mine. 3, ooh, okay. Now remember what I said about dual having each block be worth 3? It's useful here because Wherever the mine- oh no, actually I was wrong. No, 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 not true. Uh, this 6 must be worth a 3, so I think this has to be a mine. Yes, okay. Uh, and then one of these are mines. Ooh, no, I think the same logic still applies though. If this was- yeah, yeah okay, right. We know there's two here, so we can only, there can only be one here. It's regular multiple. There is two in here, so the remaining cells must add to one. And therefore this can't be a mine because it's two. Alright. And we know one of these are a mine. Hmm, very interesting. Uh we do know about this six though. One of these has to be a mine to finish up the six, and that will also complete the duel for this mine. So wherever the mine is will complete the duel, meaning that this cannot be a mine. Alright. <laughs> now if this was a mine. Ooh, I think I can see something here. If this was a mine, would that break? No, it would not, actually. But, this is a mine, right? If this was a mine, then this would have to be a mine to finish a 3. Uh, as well as, if we take the other scenario, if this was a mine, well, this just has to be a mine to complete the duel. So in all cases, this is a mine and this isn't. Very interesting. This 4 here sees 1, it must therefore see a 3. Now, 
if this was a mine, this can't be a mine because that would connect all three of them. So this would have to be a mine. That would make three means this is empty. If this was a mine, then I would have to connect to one of them. Making a three, making this empty. But if this was a mine, then I guess it could extend outwards, making this a one, and therefore this becomes a plausible. Ah, uh, it becomes plausible, doesn't it? Hmm. That's pretty bad. All right, so. So what now? It's either that both of these are mine, or that uh, both of these are mine, or that these two are mine. Doesn't say much. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah, doesn't tell me much. I guess, can we say that this is always empty? Right? Because if this was a mine... Yes, if this was a mine, this can't be a mine, so this has to be a mine. Therefore, by 3, this can't be a mine. This can't be a mine either, because then we we'll have to move here to attach to this. So this isn't a mine, this is a mine, and it has to extend out, which breaks. So this can't be a mine. Useful, maybe. Uh, 6 around it means that... Well, okay, judging by the mine count, there are six remaining. We know one of them is here and one of them is here. We also know that one of them's, one of the pair is in here, which make a total of four mines. So the remaining section must have two mines in them. Right, two mines in them. So the remaining section has two mines out of three. And that has to sum up to at least two. But it cannot sum up to two. Because if these were both mines. Yeah, it doesn't work. Because this mine has to extend down here. Right. So in all cases, this is a mine. No? Oh, what? Oh, because this could have a three. I forget this could have three mines in it. Oh, of course. Alright, we're gonna have to restart. Here, um, this isn't a mine. This isn't a mine, alright. This has to be a mine. Starting doing this, it's complete, it's complete. Uh, this can be done. No. 6 means this has to be a mine. 3 means that this has to be the case. This isn't a mine either. Mm, we know this isn't a mine. 4 means this isn't a mine. So, what is our final verdict. Can this ever be a mine? Hmm. Right, because if this was a mine, then this 4 has to have 2 mines around here. This 6 has to have 3 worth total, which can only be done by, you know, another block, I think. So it kind of have to be like another two mines in here, but I think that's possible, right? Hmm. Yeah, this is getting pretty messy. Uh, we know this has to be a mine. To make that two, this can't be a mine. But I think that's possible. If this was a mine, then this isn't. This is. This isn't. Uh, this isn't, and this is. This is a mine. And that adds up being 4, we need 5 and 6. This isn't a mine. This isn't a mine, and therefore... Oh, well that breaks, right? Because how do I... It's a 4, how do I... I can't put mines in any of these. Because this would break the 6, and this would be alone. So it cannot be the case that this is empty and this is a mine, so this has to be a mine while this is empty. Ooh. Very interesting. So this isn't a mine. Uh, yes, alright. This 2 means that this isn't a mine. This 6 sees 3 here, so this has to be a mine. 3 mines remaining, with 1 mine here, I think means that both of these are mines. This isn't and this is. Okay, dual. Multiple. I will say I didn't enjoy this combo very much, but probably just because I kind of failed. Maybe I'm salty or something. I don't know. But we are 9 puzzles perfect. We only need one more. It's gonna be Liar and Snake. Oh, I haven't seen this one before, I don't think. 
Well, we know this falls to be a 3 because of the liar roll, and we can just fill that in. Uh, snake is interesting because despite this lack of information, we know that these two are non mines. This one has to be a 2, which is already filled. So, wow, okay. Now, the snake must extend out, so these must be both mines. This 3 is now complete, it's a 4, not a 2. So, these are non mines either. This, uh, this snake must come out, again, completing the 2, so these are non mines. Now this snake must exit out like this. What the heck? Oh my god, we're given so little information we can actually solve this. Um, let's take a look at this 4. How far can it actually go? Well, looking at all the possible paths, right? It could go a maximum distance of these cells. I believe intuitively... Oh, what is it for? 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Intuitively speaking, I do believe that these are the only cells that it can reach. And then yeah, it could kind of just grow out in this direction as well. Or in this direction. But either way, I think that means all 5 of these are non mines. Good. Now, this 1 must be a 0 because it can't be a 2, so this isn't a mine either. 3 must be a 2 because it cannot be a 4. And because we need them to be connected to each other, then this must be a mine. Cool. I want to remove all of these marks that I've drawn. Now, 3 to finish this. Hmm, interesting. Uh, not exactly sure what I must do here. Is there any mine? Is there any cell that... Ah, yes. This cell can't be a mine. Because if it was, you can't really grab the entire thing without... Uh, with more than three mines, so this can't be a mine. Two must be a one or a three, but it can't be a three because if it was a three, it would break the snake, so it must be a one. A one here and a one here implies this is a mine. Alright, now this isn't a mine because that would break the snake. This two is a one with one here. However, if this was a mine, then it would have to snake around like this. Which would not work because I would spend three mines. We only have two remaining, so this can't be a mine. This is now this can't be a mine, and this is a mine. Completing the liar and the snake, achievement unlocked six. Uh, so that was a snake puzzle with liar rules in it. Uh, very convenient actually because of how this one, three, and two all managed to complete themselves. <laughs> but yes, all right, six plus six is now complete. We have unlocked gallery six with all the sixes here. I might, I might just spend my own time trying to perfect the rest of these 6x6 six six, or the rest of these 5x5s. Five five but as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As well as here. Alright, uh, do I wanna... Oh, the video was paused. Dang, um, I'm sorry if the music kind of got cut off for a bit. This is uh, the most unfortunate. But I have been filming for 48 minutes now, so that's understandable that my YouTube would just cut off. Anyways, um, we're gonna try doing combined 7x7. A lot of puzzles work... Oh, yeah, oh wait! Uh, not CE, not X. Uh, not OE. Anyways, we have triplet and multiple. I haven't seen this one before either. Uh, I think we've been introduced to both already, so... Very nice. Uh, triplet and multiple. Two is interesting, but I think five is more worthy to look at because it's more likely to trigger the the triplet rule. Um, hmm. Now, how can the five be assembled? It can be a two two one, or it can be a two one one one, or it can be a. No, I think those are the only ways it could be. So it could be a 2 with 3 1s, or a or 2 2s and a 1. That actually works with this 2 very well, as I can see. These are both non-mines, and let me explain that. Because, uh, okay, well, firstly, there has to be a mine in here already. There has to be at least 1, because uh, here is 4. And actually, this can have a maximum of 3. It can't be 4, because if it was a 4, it would be 3 in a row. So in fact... Ah, yes, in fact, since this is a 3, this can have a 2 only, and this must be a 0, so none of these are mines. 
and there's a 3 here which forces this to be a mine. Very fancy. Uh, 2 here, alright. This 3 has to be a 2 and a 1, so this has to be a mine. Uh, this 4 is a 2, so it only sees 2 more. It sees 1 here, so if it sees 1 here, it must see 1 here to complete the 4. This 6 therefore sees 3, and must see 3 more in here, so this must be a mine, I believe. And then one of these are mines. Alright, I'm just thinking a chain of possible mine sequences. Uh, triplet, do we have anything to do with triplet? Yes. Yes, alright, another de deduction we can make is, if this was a mine, then this has to be a mine. And if this was a mine, this has to be a non-mine. Alright, so if this was a mine, then this is a mine and this is a mine. Ah, alright, yes, okay. We must have at least one mine here. And the reason for that is you cannot have both mines be here, because that would make three in a row. So there has to be at least one mine here, and to make up a two with one mine here, you need another one. So by that logic, both of these are mines, and none of these are mines. Perfect. And because of the two, none of these are mines either. This three is complete, so this is the mine. Now this six sees a four, which means that it meets a 2 cell, so this isn't a mine. This isn't a mine by triplet as well, so this is a mine. Now we can do a lot of things. This can't be a mine, this can't be a mine, this can't be a mine by regular triplet rules. This 3 needs this to complete itself. Now this can't be a mine by triplet rules. Next up, do we look at this 6? This 6 has 3 around it, so it must have 3 remaining. It means that this is a mine. This isn't a mine by triplet rules. This 3 has 2 around it, so it needs 1 more, so this isn't a mine. This 4 sees 3, so it needs 1 more, so this is a mine and this isn't. This is not a mine by triplet rules. 7, can we complete 7? It sees 4, so it must see 3. It's 1, 2, and 1, 1. Well, this 3 is empty, so this 3 is filled, I mean. It's complete, so these are both non-mines. This 7 must see a 3, so this has to be a mine. This 5 actually means this is a mine, and therefore this 7 is complete and this isn't. Cool, this 4 must also have mines here and here, so this isn't a mine by triplet rules. Mm -hmm. This 7 sees 5, so it must see 2. It could be both mines here or one mine here, but we don't know that yet. Alright, what about this 6? This 6 sees 1, so it must see 5, which can only be done by a 2-2-1. Two, two, it can't be done by a 2 with 3 ones. Uh, and therefore, I think both of these are mines. This can't be a mine to avoid triplets, and this is a mine to finish up the 6. This can't be a mine because of the 7, and this has to be a mine to finish it off. This 6 is complete, so none of these are mines. Uh, and because 2 mines remaining, these are both mines. Nice! Alright, alright. That wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. It was actually quite fun, uh, because you don't have to rely on a single variant. Nice, let's continue. Liar and outside. Have I seen that combo before? I think I have. 5L, oh no. 6L, oh no, I have never seen that combo before. Interesting. Uh, I guess we can do that then. 1 must be a... Hmm, we don't know. Does this 1 have to be a 2? It could still be a 0. It could still be a zero. No, this 4 must be a 3. Yes, this 4 must be a 3. So this has to be like this. Uh, this 1 has to be a 2, therefore. So 1 mine in here. This 4 is either a 3 or it is a 5. 5 is in Oh, no, 5 is not possible. Because uh, if it was a 5, then all of these would be mines, which isolates these. So it has to be a 3, which I hope I can mark like so. If it was a 3, I think I'll use a darker color. i use blue this time, just for, you know, like reading sake. If this was a 3, then can this be a mine? No, because this would be empty, making the outside pattern. So we know that this is never a mine. Good job, nice, okay. I don't know if I'm praising myself or not. But we do know one of these are mines, which will make two mines around this one. And that's the maximum we can carry, so none of these are mines. Zero must be a one. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything with that? 
Maybe I can, maybe I cannot. Let's see. This one over here is very interesting as well because I think it has to be a 2, but could it be a 0? I mean, it probably could, couldn't it? Dang, that one could be a 0. Hmm. Does clicking on the mines do anything good so far? No, not yet. Alright, this... Do we look at this too then? Uh, let's see, if... We know this zero is a 1, but if these are both non-mines and this has to be a mine, this has to be a non-mine. Uh, um, does that break anything? Not yet, I don't think it does. It doesn't break anything as far as I can tell. What if there was a mine here? There will be no mine here. There will be a mine here. This one would therefore have to be a 2. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm dumb. There is one mine in one of these, so this can't be a mine. This is a mine. Okay, this 2 must be a 1 because it can't be a 3. So this isn't a mine and this is. Alright, now this one is a 2. And we know that there is one mine here. Uh, that's cool because if this was a mine, if this was a mine, then none of these would be mines, firstly, because the one would have been complete. This wouldn't be a mine either because the zero would be complete, isolating this mine. So this cannot be a mine, and this is the mine. Zero is complete, it is a one in disguise, uh, and now this three must be a two, so there's one mine here. This two is at least two, so it must be a three, so there is a mine here. This one must be a 2. This 3 must be a 2 because it cannot be a 4. And that means there has to be a mine here. At least one mine here. And no mine here. This is a 1 2 pattern, but, but you know, advanced, core advanced. To prevent the outside pattern, this can't be a mine, and therefore this is. To prevent the outside pattern, this must be a mine. This 4 must now be a 5 because it can't be a 3, so this is a mine. This 2 is now complete, and so is this 3. Now, uh, let's think about it. Uh, If this 3 was a 4... Right... Alright, can this ever be a mine? No. Ah, oh, sorry, damn it. Can this be a 4? Well, no, because the reason is, if it was a 4, then the only way to make it work, you can't have a mine here and a mine here. You also can't have a mine here and a mine here. think no no you can't have a mine there and a mine there so you can't have a mine here and a mine here meaning that this has to be a mine right but now now that this one is a mine well it could go something like this couldn't it it could it could it could so this three could still be a four hmm suspicious suspicious uh however Let's see. What if this three was a two? What if none of these were mines? Well, this can't be a mine because then the one would kind of be broken. And I guess then. All right, all right. Oh right. Okay. Now the actual way to think about this, I think, is is this a mine? If it was, we know that this one would have to be a two, so it would have to be one mine here. This three would have to therefore be a four, and therefore because it has three mines around it so far, this must also be a mine. Now, this can't be a mine because that will isolate these cells, but this can't be a mine either, and that would isolate these cells similarly. So that means that there cannot be any mines here or here, but that breaks 1 and 3 in terms of liar. So this can't be a mine. Hmm. Okay. This one could still be a 2 if both of these were mines. Or it could be a 0. Hmm. Well, this 3 can't be a 4, so it's a 2. Mm -hmm. It's a 2. Now... Hmm. Ooh, interesting pattern. 3 must be a 2, right? And this 1 is either a 2 or a 0. So it's either a mine here, mine here, empty, empty. Or... A mine here, mine here, empty, empty. 
Now, I think in almost all cases, firstly, this can't be a mine in this case because that would isolate cells. But if I look at another different, if I look at the other scenario in which these are both mines, then this can't be a mine because if it was, firstly, we know this is empty. Uh, second, I think we you know, always know this is always empty as well. Uh, firstly, this is empty. Secondly, this will be empty. And thirdly, this cannot be a mine, so this would also be empty. So I think these are both empty. Hmm. This has to be empty because of outside rules. Okay. This 4 is either a 5 or a... This 4 is either a 5 or a 3. That makes the blue scenario impossible because I'll put 4 around this. So it must be the green scenario. Alright, green scenario works out. Uh, I can't see any mines now. This 5 must be a 4, so this has to be a mine. This 4 has to be a 3 because it can't be a 5. This 2 has to be a 3 actually. Uh, cool, and this can't be a mine because if it was a mine, that would isolate all of these cells from this little section over here, which we know must have empties in it because there are only 5 mines remaining. So this cannot be a mine, and therefore this is. I think similarly this can't be a mine because that would isolate cells. This 4 is either a 3 or a 5. Now it can't be a 3 because if it was a 3, these would all be empty then there won't be 3 cells left, which is not enough to make a 4. So it must be a 5. The 5 can't be these two mines, so this has to be a mine, I think. Cool. Uh, so it's either this is a mine, but that can't be a mine, because if it was, it would isolate these 3 cells. So the pattern goes like this. And now, we have 2 cells remaining. This can't be a mine because if it was, one of these would be empty and that would make the outside pattern so this can't be a mine. In fact, we kind of just know that this has to snake outwards to connect to the rest. Uh, and finally... Oh, two mines remaining. <laughs> My brain's not working. Two mines remaining just both have to be mines. Okay, 7x7. Seven seven. Uh, outside liar. Or could you call this an outlier? I can't have a mind pin. <sighs> Anyways, dual and wall. All mines must form one by two or two by one blocks. And wall, the clue indicates the length of consecutive mines in a row. So, in the name rate, it's also one four means four mines here, one mine here. Uh, it's a wall of four plus a wall of one. So, it's like partition, but it gives you more information. Zero here is very good because none of these are mines. Zero here again, very good. This one is very interesting with this one. We now know that these can't both be mines. None of these can be mines. Because there has to be at least a mine here. Or a mine here. However, if this was a mine, it would have to link up to here to form the partition, uh, to form a wall of one. And therefore, that would make a definitely bigger than two by one block. I think similarly, if you had a mine here, that would also break. Which means that none of these can be mines. Ooh, one one. 1-1 one, one is very fascinating because it has to extend outwards, to, it cannot be, you know, two in a row here. So, if... Hmm. Right, we now know this can't be a mine. Wait, do we... If this was a mine, then this would be empty. This can't be a mine because if it was a mine, this would be empty, breaking this 1-1. One, one. So it has to be empty, whereas this is the mine. The 1-1 one, one can only be completed like so, and therefore uh, mine here as well. Cool, but uh... Oh, does that mean that this is always a non-mine? Because if this was a mine, then wherever the mine hits... If this was a mine, then this is always a mine as well. Oh, cool, cool. If this was a mine, it would have to either have a mine here to finish the 1x2, one, the one or a mine here to finish the 1x2, but... Oh, that doesn't. Oh, that does break. The one, it's it's a wall. It's not partition. It's wall. This breaks. This breaks. So this cannot be a mine. This has to be a mine. And this cannot be a mine, as we've seen. Uh, this one has to be a mine here and a mine here. This can't be a mine. This can't be a mine. This is a mine. This is a mine. So that's a lot of information to digest right there. But uh, that was the logic for it. These can't be mines. These can't be mines. Uh, two already sees two, so none of these are mines either. This is a one one. This can't be a mine because it would have to 
have a second mine here or here to make the two by two, uh, the two by one. So this can't be a mine. Mm. Very interesting that there is exactly enough space for this to happen. This can't be a mine because if it was, it can't form a one by two block. Now, if this was a mine, whew, I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, we do know that this mine has to either have its partner here or here, so this can never be a mine. Question mark. How very unhelpful. Uh, let's see. This either it's a mine here and a mine here, or a mine here and a mine here. Uh, I think this is never a mine. Yeah, 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 because of wall. It's not partition, it's wall. I keep confusing myself with partition and wall because these ones, uh, they don't look very wall-like to me. But this one means that there has to be one mine here, so there is no mine here. <laughs> so one, two. Ooh, fancy. Um, let's see. Now, if there was a mine here, mm, nah, not really. If there was a mine here, there would be no mine here. That would work. If there was a mine here, there would be a mine here. No mines here or here, therefore forcing these two to be mines. Otherwise, there is a mine here and here, which means that none of these are mines. So I think this is never a mine. Let's go. Oh, so this is a mine, this isn't. Ooh, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, because there is one mine remaining. Uh, and it can't be here, if not, it will have to extend out. I think similarly it cannot be here or here, because then these two will be mines which bricks. So this one, in fact, is a mine here and a here. Six mines remaining. Well, we do know that there is... here or here. So there are exactly two mines total in this, and similarly two mines total in this. What that means that there must be two mines here and here. Well, since we know that these contain uh, these contain full sets, it can't be something like this, because these mines cannot connect to here because it's, they are already in full sets. What that means is that the mines here must form a full set on its own, and therefore this must be a mine. Because of this one two rule, this has to be a mine to complete it. None of these are mines. These are both mines, this isn't a mine, and the one means these are non-mines, therefore these are both mines to complete. Alright, fancy. Uh, next level, negation and snake. Ooh, haven't seen this one before. Uh, we'll start with negation first, we know what negation and snake are. This zero means that both of these are non-mines. Zero again means that this is worth a zero, this is worth a one, and therefore this must also be worth a one to negate it, and since it's worth a positive one, this must be worth a negative one. Alright, zero means this has to be a negative uh, to destroy it. I don't know why I say destroy like that. Uh, but this one means that this must have a net of one. Now, a very fascinating thing is that if this was a mine, this would be a mine. But now to escape out, this will have to be a, a mine, this will have to be a mine, this will have to be a mine, this will have to be a mine. I guess that's fine, really. But, uh... uh well, what we do know first is that this isn't a mine. Secondly, we know that if this was a mine... Well, this would not be a mine, but this could still extend like that. Having this pattern here seems extremely unlikely, but it kind of does look possible you know like something like this would actually make sense here because everything's right so far <laughs> uh, anyways um how do we continue then i guess this must always extend out can't right 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 hmm Oh, also I meant this for this to add to 0, which I should use the orange for orange is 0. This must add to 1, which we don't know, so we use blue. The remainder must add to 0 as well, but I don't I don't know if this is going to be helpful at all. I'm pretty sure I must use some snake rule here, but 
I'm not sure I see anything right now. If it happens so that there are no mines here, then the snake... I don't know if it extends or not. Um... Mm. It doesn't have to extend. I think if I kind of look at it, it's possible it doesn't extend. It's possible. But, uh... I have no idea. <laughs> How do we continue this? Again, it has to be some snake pattern that I'm not seeing. <laughs> Definitely something to do with whether like this is a mine or not. I do have a deep gut feeling that this isn't a mine. But again, it's just entirely possible. Should I try it? I just kind of feel like I'm guessing now. Well, I don't want to guess, so I think I better figure out the. I better figure out the uh, logic for this. I'm gonna sit around a bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, tired. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> was a bit distracted. Alright, um, really gotta put my brain into this one. I am assuming that we may have to start by guessing, like, is this a mine? If it was, then what it has to be, it has to extend outwards, so this has to be a mine, this has to be a mine. Right, because we know that there's only one mine here. So it can't possibly link up to this one. So it has to extend outwards. But then we don't know anything else. It's also entirely possible that none of these are mines if you know it kinda linked outwards like this. Which you know does make a one. And then again it's possible that, you know, uh, this is the case. Which makes sense. Oh, but unfortunately, I don't see anything here. What about this zero? Ooh, let's see. If this was a mine, then this can't be a mine. This has to be a mine to make a zero. It would have to extend out like this and then extend out like this interesting but again avoidable if both of these were non-mines this would have to be a mine and that's it i don't think you can continue there hmm pretty challenging i don't know actually i don't know about this one Mine count 17. Hmm. Either that this is a mine, which forces it to be expelled like this. Like this, so these are all mines by default. Well, again, possible that it could, you know, kind of travel like this and end there. But again, this must always be a mine by default. In the other occasion, this is a mine, this isn't a mine. This has to escape out here, out here, out here, out here. Oh, I don't think this can be a mine either. Or maybe it could even travel like this. Oh wow, and escape out like that. Oh my, wow, what a what a path it can take. Or it could just, you know, go the boring way, yeah. I 
I don't, I don't see anything. Do you want a hint? I don't know. Maybe it's early enough. I don't even know why I'm trying to say like it's early enough into the phase of the puzzle that I, I can deal with a hint. I really don't want to use a hint though. Let's use a hint, fine. These two mines, yes. Parity, what? Oh my god, we gotta look at the parity. I mean, yeah, that's how snake works, but... Really? Really? Okay. Uh... Let's see if I can figure all this out back again. Alright. Uh, we were back here. Parity, parity. So... If this was a mine, then... I guess negation does have some sort of parity to it. Then how many mines would this one here need? We would know that there are the two ends are here. So it would have to connect. The rule about a snake, I guess, that if you've learned is when it goes out to connect to something, if its path takes an odd number if any path takes an odd number of cells to get to, then all possible paths take the same parity uh, of cells to get there. So for example, from here to here, it takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is an odd number. So any other path you draw, let's say I draw a path that kind of looks like this. I mean, obviously that's bigger than, you know, 17. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Well, that's exactly 17. But you realize that it's also odd. And no matter how you do it, uh, the number of cells remaining will always be odd for this path. I guess, whereas... Firstly, yeah, if this was a mine, then any path to this mine would be odd. No, it would be even, I'm sorry, because I need to include this as my one extra mine. So, if I started here and moved to here, then it would take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, wait, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It would take exactly 10 mines to get to here with an even number. So, all paths starting here and ending here must be an even number. And we therefore know that it is wrong, because the path must take an odd number of cells. So we know this can't be a mine, this is a mine. Alright, fair enough. So this is a mine. It is not. Oh, because that could be the end. Dang, see? There's the entire problem. Because I keep forgetting if it could be an end or not. So this is a mine, this isn't. This zero is complete, so this isn't a mine. This two means that this has to be a mine, this isn't. This one has to escape out, definitely. Now this has to have a net of zero. So they're either both mines or they're both non-mines. So this is another parity case. Let's see. If this was not a mine, like that, then this would have to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it cannot because 5 is odd and we have an even number of mines left. So it cannot extend out here, meaning it must extend out here, and therefore this must also be a mine to make zero. Okay. So the snake goes like this, therefore none of these are mines. Very helpful. This adds up to zero, therefore this must add up to one, therefore this isn't a mine. Uh, how do I do this? Zero. Zero. This is a zero, so this adds up to zero as well. Therefore this must add up, this must add up to one of some sort. So I can use blue here. Alright. Now let's think about the fact, if this had mines in them, then firstly this would have to be the case. No, but either it's possible, it's possible that, you know, this could kind of drag like this, or it could be that this drag like this, and as you will notice that it both have a different parity of number of cells. So I guess both are possible, so fine. Uh, let's think of this. Uh, 
If this is a mine, then what? We don't know. Let's see. Uh, this may take a while. In fact, I think this will be the last puzzle. This might be the last puzzle I do. Uh, if I'm able to complete it, this looks pretty challenging. Alright. Oh, um. It could be something like this, though, so we aren't sure if this is safe or not. Well, actually, this is a minor not. It could kind of also go around like this. If it did go around like that, then it went like this. This is definitely not a mine. This is not a mine. Uh, just have to continue on. Hmm. Suspicious. I don't think I can get anything out of that. Don't look at parity once again. No, because I don't know because these are both. If these are both mines, then you know this kind of works. Either that or is that you know. This works and it takes one square more exactly. Meaning that if this happened to take an odd number of steps, then this would, have, this would take an even number of steps, and therefore uh, both parities are solvable. I don't know if we can do anything about it. Okay, but I guess if this was the case, this has to be a mine and this has to be a non-mine. That's bad, isn't it? Because there's already one empty blank space here. There's one empty blank space here. And there must be one empty blank space here. You can't, you can't possibly do something like this. That's well, not possible. So I guess these two can't be both mines and therefore are both non-mines. Cool. This zero means this is a zero, means this is a one. Means that... I don't know what it means. Okay, right, we're gonna keep going, I guess. If these were both mines, then firstly, this has to be a mine. Alright. And then we will know the ending has to be around here somewhere. So the ending has to be like around here. And then as well, I guess we can next count the path to here, which is pretty simple, is 3. The total number of mines is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, but this could be a mine as well. Did I change counts for some? This could be a mine or it could be a non-mine. So that breaks because you know, no matter how you did it, if it was even, you could put a mine here to make it odd. Yeah, and that doesn't work. So I guess we can't use parity now. That's fair. That's fair. Understandable. Uh. What if that? What if the point was that these were both non-mines? Or well, just we have to exit out like this? These will all be non-mines, by the way. Just have to exit out like this, 
So to exit out like this. And now I guess we can secure the count like this, which is 6. Ooh, and this breaks, doesn't it? This is 11. So it cannot be that these are both empty and therefore these must both be full. Nice. Alright, alright. We therefore know that this has to be full. This two are empty. Zero means that this has to be a mine. Then this has to continue on like this. Empty, empty. Continue. Uh, this one has to be empty as well. Five remaining. The minimum remaining here is four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it, it can't go this way. If it goes this way, then to connect to here takes too long. So it has to go this way. This one has one of these being mines. Obviously, this can't be the mine because then it will be like its own data. So it'll be something like this. This has to exit out like this. Two mines remaining. Means that it's a mine here and a mine here. Alright. I had to speed run through the logic for that one, but yeah. Uh, I hope, I hope, uh, YouTube isn't being stupid itself. Alright, it's still playing. But yes, alright, I have finished this extremely absurd snake negation puzzle. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, if not, just extremely tedious working out the parity. But yes, it did show a good uh, use of parity logic, which I do kind of enjoy. So yes, very good, very good. We haven't like perfected all 10 levels yet, but I guess we're decently close and we could, uh, you know, unlock all the galleries at some point in time. I want to do that before working on the plus. The plus seems like a real uh, head scratcher, so I will leave it until, uh, um, I don't know, until some point, I guess. Alright, anyway, goodbye.